and Joe Terzi, the president and CEO of the San Diego Tourism Authority. Welcome to you both. Nice to have you here. Great to be back in San Diego. Good morning. Why San Diego? Well, San Diego, as you know, we have uh, learned, we cover the world, as you know, 130 years old. Most of us grew up reading the magazine. Oh, yeah. I did, too, in Southern California. And, um, but travel is a big part of what we do, and tourism, and finding places for curious travelers. And, you know, when we kind of discovered San Diego, and San Diego tourism sort of discovered us, it was really a marriage that we could connect together and tell the incredible story around diversity and technology and innovation that's happening in this city, which a lot of people around the world don't really realize. Yeah, you think of San Diego and you think beaches and the Coronado Hotel and some things about the Navy, but uh, tell us a little bit about how you segmented these out because there's, there's, it's a, it's a mini-series and each one has its own focus. Yeah, so it's going to uh, appear on the National Geographic Channel every Thursday starting next Thursday mm -hmm. around the world. It's going to reach hundreds of millions of houses, plus digital, plus in our Traveler magazine. Um, and it's really broken our, around adventure, around creativity, around innovation, uh, and around diversity. Mm -hmm. So we, we chopped up, really, San Diego into different segments because there's big stories to tell in each one of those areas. And there was more than enough uh, copy to include, and we could be doing four more episodes, I think, as we go forward. I don't know if that's a pitch. But. <laughs> well, Joe, you know, we, I have to say that, you know, uh, San Diego has always been known for its high quality of lifestyle and high quality of product when we go and advertise about our great lifestyle here in San Diego. Because I've seen your ads in yes. a cab in New York, yeah. in a hotel room in, in London. I've seen your ads everywhere. But to have National Geographic put their focus on San Diego, is, you must be busting at the seams yeah, here. We could, we're, we're, we're like par proud parents, right? Yeah. Um, you know, we started this relationship in 2015, if you remember, when we did Smart Cities. Mm -hmm. And they were our partner then, and they did such a fantastic job when we thought about how do we take San Diego to the next level, and, and particularly Balboa Park, which is one of the featured stories in each one of these uh, different uh, four different series. Um, there was no question that National Geographic was the right uh, partner for us. And if you think about an international iconic brand that has tremendous reach, no one else that we could ever work with has the ability to do what they're going to do for us. So. It, we're so happy to have the opportunity to do this. The first one's out the door. Mm -hmm. It'll start Thursday, 7 p.m., and then every other Thursday we'll, you'll see four beautiful images and stories on San Diego told by these great people. Gary, what are we going to see that perhaps even native San Diegans like me wouldn't know? Well, the, just the amazing diversity and, and just those different stories about innovation, different stories about um, restaurants and food and the culture um, that exists here. I think a lot of people around the world um, will uh, want to discover San Diego. I mean, when I was watching this, uh, you know, it just say, I want to go to that place. Even <laughs> if I was new and had never been here before, mm -hmm. there's just so much happening here that a lot of folks don't know about, and we're going we're gonna to tell our stories. And I think one of the things that really makes a, a National Geographic product stand out is the high quality. So you, you took your best filmmakers and your best, best film editors and crews and shot these beautiful images, which of course is well known in National Geographic. We did, circles. and we tell the story around archival, you know, the 1915 fair Balboa, around Bal yeah. Balboa Park. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are stories. I grew up in Southern California. I didn't know this stuff. And, <laughs> and I think it's really important that we teach those lessons to our kids and our grandkids as well so they can appreciate the beauty of this largest park in the U.S., urban park, bigger than Central Park and uh, as a hub of culture and innovation that a lot of people should discover as we have an America in the 21st century that is changing. All right, so let's talk about the dollars that this could have. This could have a tremendous impact uh, on tourism. And, sure. And you would, you would hope at least that as people see this, they go, like you just said, Gary, I want to be there. I want to go there. Absolutely. So because of the reach, if you think about it's going to reach every household in, in, in the U.S., with a major focus in, in Canada and Great Britain, and, and you know Gary has promised to send it out to a lot of others too. <laughs> so it's a worldwide program and to a worldwide audience, many of which don't really know San Diego the, the way they'll know it after they see these uh, these this series. I mean, and, and the, as you said, the 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 shooting, the the concepting, the storytelling, 
um, is the best you could ever have. So that's why we're so proud of it because they've done a fantastic job. Yeah, when you think National Geographic, you think nothing but the highest quality Absolutely. on the planet. Thanks so much, Gary, for being here. We're going to get you out paragliding off Tory Pond, yeah. so that, get ready. That would be great. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's, in, it's in the first show, just so you know. Yeah. I, there's a couple mornings I wanted to jump off that cliff. <laughs> great to have you here. Thanks right, so much. Thanks. Joe, you. congratulations. Thanks, we'll be right Carlos. back with Morgan Morning San Diego in just a moment.